from Port Douglas in um, far north Queensland, Australia. Uh, I just wanted to do a Facebook Live today to 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 send bring through some energy, some support for um, for folks going through shifts and going through integration post the uh, solar eclipse energy. Yeah. So this energy that wants that uh, I want to bring through today is really um, it's just to support our organisms uh, clearing and uh, feeling more expansive in the uh, uh, light up upliftment that ha happened since the um, solar eclipse on the 21st of August. So that that actually um, caused a lot of internal stirring um, in folks and um, could be that we're feeling uh, quite emotional or quite uncomfortable in the physical bodies. So I just want to bring through energies now to support our physical bodies. Yeah? So first we're going to release, work with releasing the solar plexus center yeah, in the middle of the chest. And this is around deep-seated fears, fears of what's going on in the world, fears of newness, fears of uh, expanding into our own sense of who we are, uh, fears of the unknown. So we're just wanting to release the solar plexus and the collective solar plexus. Yeah. So let this energy now uh, focus on your solar plexus center. <laughs> I am on holiday, Stephen, but. Um, you can't keep a good bitch down. <laughs> um, so, um, let this energy wash through the solar plexus, yeah, and release the center. And breathe, yeah, just breathe. Can you guys hear me okay, by the way? From the solar plexus center, we're going to work with the spleen, the spleen energy. Yeah? So we're working with the spleen energy to release issues and deep-seated trauma around our self, sense of self, self-worth, sense um, ego. We're, we're releasing, and this is not just around um, current situations, but uh, energetic distortions which we've brought in to this physical form yeah in this lifetime so we want to let the energy of this transmission work on the spleen to re release and empty out the spleen of old garbage yeah of old garbage that we no longer need so let this energy now um, impact uh, the spleen uh, around the central diaphragm. Yeah. Kiki, 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 kiki
Got some water, take a drink of water. Next, we're going to work with the um, hi, Denny. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, uh, pictures as well from your, it looks amazing. Um, we're going to work with the gallbladder, yeah. So this is releasing toxicity, old um, beliefs, very old energies from the from the gallbladder, yes, around relationship, around how we do relationship, or uh, don't do relationship. So this is around um, releasing obstructions to connection and community and unification. So now we've worked with the central area of the solar plexus. I am want to now go to the sacral center, the sacral center of the genital space. You know. So what we want to do here is release the sacral center so that we can be more open to uh, creativity, releasing old um, sexual energy from our partners, releasing old sexual habits that no longer serve, re releasing um, judgments uh, around sex and sexuality that we hold, that we've held on to from the culture, from, from, um, from our upbringing, from, from any, so releasing, ver uh, or even past life trauma, yeah, that we've been holding around sex and sexual desire and um, the, um, The the the, uh, the clamping down of sexuality, yeah, or creative our own creativity, yeah. So releasing the energies of enslavement, enslavement, yeah. Oh, <laughs> let that release up through the upper chakras through the crown spiraling up and out the kundalini flowing up the crown chakra and out to the astral chakras so what what has been happening um, over the uh, August energies the 8-8 portal and then the, the eclipse season um, it feels like there's been a lot of um, 
cosmic influences coming in, as in cosmic high uh, energy codes and frequencies, which have uh, allowed us to feel more expansion in the upper chakras and connected uh, to the high realms and um, our own high self more strongly. And, and it feels like now there needs to be an integration into the embodiment of the physical form, which is obviously the physical body. And it, so the reason I'm, I'm feeling I'm doing this transmission today is mainly for the lower three chakras, the, the, the body, uh, the, the ones that uh, uh, represent the physical body, uh, the physical density, and also the, the masculine form, yeah, the masculine uh, centers. So that's the sh chakras, the solar plexus, the sacral, and the base chakra. Yeah. So let's work now with the base chakra. Yeah. So as as things unfold within um, the world stage, that can sometimes feel confronting, whether it be um, potential uh, nuclear fallout or whether it may be. Uh, 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 um, weather disasters. Uh, the, there is a shaking of the collective foundation. Yeah, the collective foundation. So we want to um, stabilize the lower three chakras so that we feel more centered and grounded, and also safe within our physical body. Even if the external circumstances around us are not feeling so, that we can uh, still align and feel centered in ourselves. Um, as to the to you know to as much as our abilities allow, considering who we are <laughs> in our physical forms, in our uh, due to our histories, etc., etc. Yeah. So let's now work with the um, base chakra. So we're opening up the base chakra, clearing. Clearing the old energies around safety and and trust, yeah, that it's uh, that it's safe to be here, and it's safe to be here in a new way. Let's let's in introduce that into our being now. That it's safe. That we're, it's now safe for us to be more fully present in our bodies, in our beings, in our connections to um, source, um, higher self, whatever you want to call it. That it's safe now to. Um, to be more fully here in our being, yeah. So breathe that in. Breathe that in. And let the energies now wash around the the base center. And breathe in the stillness. Breathe in the stillness. So Spirit also would like to say that sometimes when we are changing and when we are growing, we hit places within ourselves that do not know love. that do not know um, how to perceive love or how to feel love. And it can feel quite devastating, yeah? Because we're hitting a place that's either very young within ourselves or we're hitting a place that is very ancient within ourselves, if you want to say that, that does not know the experience of love. 
But Spirit is here to say that love is all around us if we, even when we have forgotten, and that is the case. To breathe that in, to breathe that in from the sphere around our body. Let this energy now work on the heart. おしばれるわよ、レジェンダーがなかなかでパタゴリジャーなかなかでパタゴリジャーなかなかでパタゴリジャーなかなかでパタゴリジャーなかなかでパタゴリジャーなかなかでパタゴリジャーなかなかでパ